G'day, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about Johnny Hodges, the great alto and soprano saxophone player. Before we talk about Mr. Hodges, it's important to say that in a big band, the three defining sounds are the lead trumpet, the drums, and the lead alto saxophone. The drums provide the drive and the feel, whilst the trumpet and the alto set the tone. In the swing era, one of the most influential and iconic lead alto sounds was that of Johnny Hodges, who was a heavily featured soloist and a very well-paid musician in Duke Ellington's band. Hodges was born in 1906 and died in 1970 as a result of a heart attack in a dentist chair. He spent a large part of his life recording and touring with Ellington. He was known as Jeep or Rabbit. Names which are used in many tune titles such as The Jeep is Jumping, Jeep's Blues and Literal Rabbit Blues. Having initially taken up the drums and piano, he took saxophone lessons from Sidney Bechet from the age of 14. Bechet's influence on Hodges' playing is undeniable, as many of the striking features of Bechet's own approach resonate throughout Hodges' style. Hodges joined Ellington's band in 1928 after playing in bands including Chick Webb's and Bechet's. In the early 50s, Hodges had a brief sojourn from the Ellington band and led his own small combo, which included the bright star John Coltrane in its ranks. He had a hit with the tune Castle Rock, but by the mid-50s, he was back with Ellington. Hodge's approach comprises four key ingredients. His tone has a distinctive waver to it, known as vibrato. On the saxophone, there are two ways to perform this. One is pulsing the breath, like saying the word hoo, 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 over and over again. And this doesn't actually change the pitch, it's just a pulse. The second way of doing it is lowering and raising the jaw quickly, which fluctuates the pitch just below and just above the note being played. He uses ornamentation. He frequently employs portamentos, jazz musicians usually call this a glissando, which is a slide that you may have heard trombonists play, or even heard in the clarinet opening to Rhapsody in Blue. In his phrasing, he stretches the rhythm using rubato, or robbed time. He intentionally plays in a slightly different time feel against the band before snapping back to join them. And in his repertoire, you find that his syrupy sound and mellifluous approach works best in ballads and the blues. If you want to hear some Johnny Hodges playing, I recommend you get the Johnny Hodges edition of Verve Jazz Masters compilations. It should give you a nice broad taste of what he can do. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time. Bye.